as you know what this angle means. There is shield. And by that I mean Mr. Star Wars sent out on the package because I was a good boy and he decided to send it. And if you saw the shot, it is really big. So this for sure goes off the side for the opening, but like, dude, the fuck? This cut, shut up. There's like hair here? Ew, nasty. So yeah, uh, this is too big, it's a tad too big from the Mandy chat. So I'm just going to move it to the side. Oh. I'm, ta I'm taking the hobby knife, even though I should open it with a proper uh, box cutter. But who cares? But yeah, unboxing when I'm not sick. That's something new. By the way, fun fact, after I recorded that last unboxing from Mr. Watchdogs, uh, how can I say it? I felt like I was dying during night. I was so sick. The fever, the fever got so bad. But you know, somehow I survived. Okay. First, we have a package that's described as "run a bullshit, go." With uh, a beautiful uh, graphic of uh, the. American Don Torabolt or something. I don't know. I don't watch cape shit. My cape shit is only from Japan. Fun fact, did you know that this... He actually never says it in the comic. It's an edit. Silva from future, can you please, 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 please put the actual comic panel here? Man, how do I open this without, like, breaking it? Since this for sure goes to the fan art shelf. Yeah, I, I have a... I have a shelf where I keep all the stuff that people draw for me. Oh, I, it, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, easy does it. I'm not a surgeon. No one said I need to be precise. Just, you know, you gotta cut up here and there. Roro, confidential info. So, let me, let me. I don't know why, but I have like really Scooby Doo on my mind. So, you can for sure be sure that I will say Roro at least a few times today. Man, I love Scooby Doo. It's such a cozy series. I actually just talk about. Today I talk about it with my grandpa, that as a kid I could like simply sit down and watch that dog for hours. And I'm sure that I could still do it today. Like uh, any type of issues with concentration be damned, the stupid dog is chasing villains. It's it's this, this shit for me. Okay. So, this was the package of random bullshit, go! Okay, so what do we have here? We have a covert spy ravage or something like that, I don't remember the name of the story. And I have him, like I legit have the exact same repaint. Or is this like deep sea something? Really fun toy, I like it. Uh, for sure makes a nice ravage. His mechanism still works, so that's nice. He has his ca uh, cannons on his back. Uh, everything is complete. Oh, he even has the like the little boner spike. That's not, that's nice. I can for sure sell sell the one that I had. Next up, we have uh, some cheapo bumblebee. It reminds me of something, but hmm. I'm not sure of what. Eh, it's probably nothing special. Uh, oh. Ah, phew. This is like one of those giant car dudes that they are like supposed to auto transform, but 
Nah, chief, I'm not fucking with this. This is dark magic for me. Okay, after a small technical hiccup, we have a second of this bumblebee. I feel that this was like a added to magazines or something, maybe. And it's so small and friendly. Maybe it could be a body, a bumblebee body from Maxine. No, I'm thinking way too much into it. Oh, it's Galvatron's gun. Just, just a gun. A small four with a really bad pain for his eyes. Oh. I think I'm going. To, I think I know what I'm going to tie up to this year's fireworks. This is a joke, by the way. Fireworks are not a toy. They shouldn't be used as one. Fist. Sideswipe. Probably from the same set as that bumblebee. War machine. Since this is a much simpler project, uh, not a, a lot of paint here, doesn't hit it that much. Another gun of Galvatron! Okay! And I think this is the missile for one of the movie Bumblebees, or skits. This car thingy that tried to be Bakugan. Ooh, I think this is like hot, I think it's like a Hot Wheels sub-series. It's some sort of magma volcano dude that turns into a ball. Bakugan my ass. Well, since Bakugan means exploding balls, please don't. Ooh. We have like a... I don't know if this is one of the official ones or if this is like a cheaper one. But this is like really heavy. Dude, this is like fully cast metal. I'm sure that if I threw this little bumblebee at someone, they would get hurt. And... Can he even stand on his own? Or... Uh, come on, come on, dude. Holy shit, he does. Mama and Bumblebee standing on his own. And a baggy. So let's move the... Run the bullshit, go! Off to the side. We have instructions for rollout command Optimus Prime. That's nice. The little 2010 uh, Legends class Optimus Prime. I had like three of those. And this is the second one with broken smokestacks. Another small chip of Bumblebee. But dude's articulation is fucking off the wheel. Spin, 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 spin! Drift from the same series. He doesn't spin that much. He's much more rubbery in the feel. And uh, Optimus Prime. I already have Optimus Prime of this. Maybe I will repaint this into like more details or Ultra Magnus. So this was the Run the Motion Go baggy. Really nice, really nice. It's more of random trash go, but I'll accept it. They are fine little doodads and bits. Uh, sorry if I'm so tired moving my, ca uh, my phone, because it's my phone. I have issue with the charging cable and I'm low in battery. <laughs> So, sometimes it needs to be poked a bit. Next up we have a bu bucket with no like stuff on it. Let's hope it's not like a sulfuric acid bomb. Inside of it. Oh heck yeah! It's it's some re 2015 that guys. We have side swipe, and he turns the same way as fucking Bumblebee movie Bumblebee and Age of Extinction Drift does. I already talked a lot about this mold, and it's it's simply so addicting to uh, play uh, but butterfly knife with it. Maybe not this one since. Here the ratchets are much stronger, but as I said, uh, Bumblebee from Bumblebee movie or Drift, they simply go like... 
Next up we have Drift, also one step drift. By the way, I actually really thank you since I'm going to scan those uh, for the badges for the video game because they I'm, I'm the last person that cares. Oh, okay. The, another th like people meme on one step, but come on, look at the. Uh, simply there needed to be someone that sat down and engineered how all, all of those parts need to move with just one pull come on no, no, no sit flash like that's some that's some skill i love it even though this drift is a bit simple but i really like the white chest that this design is given thanks to it. That's nice. And finally we have a uh, spring load. One of the Decepticons from the series and one of the few that actually got a toy. The uh, crazy frog that's obsessed with the city of Doradas. Oh shit. A parody of El Dorado, where energy flows everywhere. Am I, am I just holding it right? Or, or am I literally too dumb for a one step? Oh, I think it's supposed to be like this. I love Spring Load. True, this toy isn't the most accurate to the show, but I'm going to paint it up. Also, there's still like the Takara version, so this dude will for sure make some nice filler. Especially since he is canon to G1, we see uh, we see him in Beast Wars Uprising. Of course, he doesn't look like this. He isn't a frog bot that turns into a car. But I think he's just a normal Maximal with a frog out mode. This is also a pretty bitching car. We don't get such pimp mobiles normally in the brand. So it, <laughs> I also really like the... I, like I know it's probably all laziness, but the visible eyes add to the mysterious. Uh, like, it they, they simply add to the design. Okay, so it transforms by you simply lifting up the butt. Yeah, city of Eldorado. Like, come on, how can you hate this design? It's a frog. It's just a silly little gibber. Okay, so I spent uh, three minutes talking about one steps. Oh, fuck yeah. And it's still not at the end of the box. It's interesting how time flies when you're having fun. Here we have... It, it seems to be even more cheaper, lads. Oh, this is like... This is a bumblebee. But... but Oh, is this like one of the uh, Cyberverse, like combiner dudes? Actually, I was really, I really want to get one of those bumblebees because they released a bumblebee. As you can see, he forms like the bottom part. But in re 2015, we had a bumblebee that forms the top. So I want to check: can you combine a bumblebee with a bumblebee to form like a bumblebee bee, big bumble, mega bee? No, 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 mega bee is the name of the full combiner. You know what I mean? Especially since not even TF Wiki has like information if those toys are cross compatible. Now at least I can check it with uh, my Optimus Prime. And we have Deployer uh, Read. Uh, Read 2015 Deployer Class uh, Drift. Since they couldn't somehow design uh, accurate toys for the deployers, they need to make them their own subclass. Even though, like, in the show, they simply kind of just hang around their shoulders. Mm. Mm, I can f at least say that they kind of tried. Oh, okay, so this is... Holy shit, this is a one giant assembly to, for a gimmick. Did Minicons really need to have all of this shit? I would I wouldn't mind with them just being some little dude, but technically uh, they it's simply an evolution of the concept for the Soundwave Minicons, 
where he can simply like stall them and shoot them out. So I, I can't move it, so it's going to simply be like drift with a silly hat. <laughs> well, I don't think I have like any minicons of his type, uh, like called like cyclones. There are like cyclone, torpedoes, bassos, etc. on hand, so I won't check out if he works, but. This is for sure. This is for sure the one from the swoop set, since it has like the claws, and I'm sure there's like it like combines some way to be like dinosaur pants. Next up we have this Star Wars dude, my man, Please never more package fi pack things like this way, cause it's just I c I will simply like accidentally cut into it, and inside we have oh baby 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 baby. Baby boo boo, Bumble baby, Mega baby, oh he's screaming, Optimus baby, Ugo Bugo, and another Megatron baby. Ooh, we'll give it this to a friend probably. But yeah, uh, okay, I know about those since he mentioned that he wants this set for only for Soundwave. Oh, and he didn't give me this Soundwave, hmm. but I'm happy with what I have. I think they are from Funko. No, it has it has letters for Hasbro. I, I I really don't know what this is, but it's simply like, it's another Megatron and uh, Optimus for me. I really want to like one day take all of Megatrons and Optimuses that I have and simply like, line them up. I probably mentioned it already a few times in my other videos, but you know it's a uh, wishful thinking for the future. Some more paper. Headmaster seats plus real men stuff. <laughs> you say real men stuff? Ooh! Give me that. Oh, fuck yeah, baby! Now, this is real men stuff. Oh, the camera is moving a bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now this is real man stuff. Angry Birds Transformers has no right to be as good as it is. Just saying. Oh, sorry. It's a really cool game. <laughs> oh yeah, Thundercracker. Let, let's look at them one other time. So uh, I played. I actually play uh, Transformers Angry Birds. Like I play. I remember having a phase where I played through like the whole year. I uninstalled it and then I came back to it and it's like what the fuck did they change everything and from what I know this is like the third time the game gets a major update because yeah this game constantly gets updates they stopped play making t uh, toys of this but uh, it, the game still sells well enough to constantly get like new characters and shakeups the game mechanics it got a battle pass it has a Nautica, a character that I don't think even existed when the game started. But yeah, the whole thing with the toys is that you can scan the little QR codes on your camera. And it simply either gives the character an upgrade, it gives you some items. Or if you don't have the character, it unlocks it. So I will for sure need to record some stuff, because I don't think I have Thundercracker in the game. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Look at this silly dude. He's screaming in the air. God, why have you created me? To sell money, silly. Because Angry Birds Star Wars teleport sold well. But Hasbro didn't know that... Like, History of Transformers, uh, these toys, is that Hasbro sold uh, Angry Birds Star Wars and it sold really well, but they misinterpreted the marketing research and instead of going... Oh, we sold a good uh, Star Wars toy. They said we sold a good Toys to Life toy. So we also have Red as uh, Optimus Prime, Lockdown. Uh, I think I mean Corporal Pig as Energon Lockdown, and Hal as Grimlock. Fun fact: This is the second time I have those. Cause if you remember, I think it was even the last unboxing. Uh, Mr. Star Wars gave me. Oh no! Yeah, I remember that uh, that the last lockdown from Mr. Star Wars like melted the half, and now Grimmy doesn't have an arm. 
sad. Oh yeah, Headmaster seats. Ooh. Oh fuck yeah! The only part of uh, Legacy Blitzwing that I was, that I was actually interested in. <laughs> so massive fucking cannons. I'm going to give them to uh, Legends Blitzwing since dude deserves some massive Hulk smashing hands just as an extra treat to fuck shit up, break things, go wild, destroy, annihilate, whoop whoop. Next up we have... Question. What did Silverfoil say? There is never enough of... What? Answer inside. <laughs> I actually said there is a lot, there is never enough a lot of a lot of things. Uh, but I remember saying that about <laughs> one set of cutie patooties that you know kind of uh, my make my whole childhood and inside we have fuck yeah minicons and i have all of those yeah it's softback oh, oh christe this is a really beaten up doggy poor ps Ooh, not nice. Uh, air Razor, I think. Windsweeper, something like that. And Drakeness. <laughs> I always liked the Ritas with 15 minicons. They were all nice new designs. Look, look, look at how sleep deprived he looks. Urgh. Oh yeah, we also have Hydro. I don't know why I want to call him Hydro. Drake. Drake is his name. And I have all of those. <laughs> Wait. Uh... Drift, my man. Can you? Can you? How do you? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Bakugan, go. What the fuck? Bakugan, go. Back we can go. Back we can go. Yeah, fuck this shit. Next up we have this plastic box. Oh. <laughs> D10 reference. Ah, D Dio? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, so here in Poland, in TK Maxx's, uh, I bought this dude since he appeared cheap to turn him into shuttle grass la ravage and I kind of joked that I don't want to even keep the box for this since it doesn't have any numbers, but Oh, that 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 package was an experience. Next up, we have Cyberverse Adventure Power Slash Dinobot Snarl. Bought him for the Cyberverse Dinobots collection, as well as cause I want him to be a G1 Action Master Snarl. Like, come on, look at him. He has the propulsion. He's like kind of. He's kind of like the G1 Snarl, but a bit different. He comes with a weapon. Like it, it, it. I just need to get uh, Triceratops uh, Max something for him. And I remember buying this in like a whim, cause he was kind of dumb rare. And as soon as I got him, uh, a chain of stores called Half Price suddenly has him everywhere. So that's my luck. But no need to thank me for touching myself so you can have more of him. So here he is. Like, like come on, t don't tell me this isn't supposed to be an Action Master homage. He's like, kind of dumpy. He, like, oh, f he has like a battle action. Honorary Bionicle here, my man. Oh, Snarl, don't do it on camera. Oh shit, it's a bit rusty. <laughs> but yeah, 
and by like not gonna lie this is a really cool design like honestly even though i feel snarl is kind of he's like like he's one of the like least less lesser liked dinobots i feel at least because grimlock is everywhere because his grimlock is a dinosaur you have swoop for the flying things after that you have slug cause for some reason kids like triceratops well there's lots of reasons triceratops are cool and uh, where do i put this but never mind i feel like the bottom of the dinobots are snarl and sludge they constantly get like the short end of the stick so I'm happy he exists and he is for sure going to go there on my G1 shelf as his action master self. Still waiting for the Studio Series 1. Next up we have... Oh fuck yeah! Another member of the Reed 2015 squad. Aligned Fix It. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Fix it. F fixing's my name. Fixing is my game. <laughs> I like him. I this, I think this is the le yeah this is the legend class toy. He was one of the, he's one of the few to toys that actually like legends is the in scale version of him. And damn, he has some articulation. I don't know why, but I suddenly want to review him. <laughs> By the way, hi, say hi to Aop because I know Aop hates fix it. I, I don't even know why. Fix it like a fine guy. He's okay. He's like a really cute dude. True, his voice can be a bit annoying sometimes, but you gain some, you lose some. Damn, this is like a really articulation, like articulated toy. Like what other legends toy can say they have hips? True, he doesn't have legs, but you gain some, you lose some. Next up, we have one of the few uh, sets for the Amazon records that I care about. Well, I think this is the set that they. Sorry, I'm the I feel this is the set that they care about the most. It's Leadfoot and Master Dominus. Goddamn, cause Leadfoot is G2, and boy, do I love my some my G2, and Master Dominus, cause I like fossilizers and new characters and stuff. So like, there there is never too much of it, and actually, I kind of like the records line. From the point that it is called it is called uh, Amazon exclusive, but it's not like a pain in the ass to get. So here we have them. Uh, some cardboard. We have the piece of cardboard that becomes the uh, like the hammer stand. Uh, I I don't get this thing that much, but it's a thing. I think I I think it's the base of the hammer, so at least I can use it for some sort of display. And here we have our hot food and dinosaur man. By the way, I really like that we returned to this these paper uh, twisty toys. They are really nice. For like, in the, I'm not going to like do a full look over on both. On both, so I, I will now only open up uh, light food since I actually never interacted with this mold. I never got Siege Mirage. Uh, I, I bought the Kingdom set uh, with splits with a friend of mine and she took uh, Mirage, so I only had Old Man Grimlock. So this is my first time owning it. Which is, by the way, a really nice... one of the ra reasons that I really like repaints. You can experience a mold without like forcing yourself to buy the seventh Optimus Prime or something. It brings it brings a new experience without red redundancy of needing to uh, like take do the same character again. Ooh. Hello. Okay. Sorry for a little mix up. I literally ran out that space uh, on my. Phone. 
So yeah, here we have Leadfoot. I'm going to look at his weapons later. I love his shiny blue pants. Dude is wearing jeans. Maybe that's why he's sometimes called Hotfoot, because he's got that style. I love the must mustard head. He's, he's great, man. I love him. I've, I will for sure later take some pics where he's finding Blitz from GDO or Power Drive, but he looks more like Blitz. Uh, now I just need to get the non-F upgrade kit for him. I remember the dude was selling it on TF Nation this year, and he, I remember talking with him and he was like, oh yeah, uh, I couldn't match the perfect yellow with lead food for his like... Uh, spinning top guns, so I just simply chose one of the. But he also uses like three different shades of. Oops. So he uses he uses like three different shades of yellow. So I simply chose random one and go with, went with that one. And for the finale, we have Laser Optimus Prime, also bought cheap on in TK Maxx's. You see, 125 PLN. Uh, but I didn't bust him to be Optimus Prime. I bought him as a. Oh! I didn't bought him as a ah. The whole background is collapsing. Jesus Christ! The fourth wall is falling down. Okay, universe sta stabilized. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, what do you think? Oh yeah, I bought him because I will turn uh, Ultra Magnus. I will turn him into Ultra Magnus. Since I'm not the biggest fan of how generic the SG stuff is now. Like, I get it, they want to make it like more unified with the brand and stuff. But half of the fun of uh, Botcon stuff was that they could only work from like molds that don't. Oh? What the fuck? There are some wiring issues in my lamp. I will need to look at it later. Jesus Christ, everything is falling down. Oh yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, half of the fun of the uh, bottom stuff was that they had like five molds and none of them looked like the G1 boots, so they needed to stretch their creative muscles. <coughs> Fucking open. So, he was Prime in his track mode. I like that they packaged him in the vehicle mode. As much as I kind of don't care since I store most of my stuff in robot mode, unless it's like in storage. <coughs> oh, I'm, 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 my voice is ending, so... That means that this video should also be coming to a close. But yeah, I bought this just to turn him into shattered glass, into his shattered glass self. I mean, not himself, a uh, shattered glass Magnus. I will get like the normal Magnus. Magnus is going to be called Delta Magnus, while the skeleton head is going on this dude. I hope it fits on the skeleton. I think the skeleton. Head. I hope the skeleton head fits on him. So here he is. He's that's fine from what I feel. I know that people have issues with like proportions, that oh, why do they choose uh, air flies le legs and something that's... I don't... I, I, I personally don't mind it that much. Ooh, that, that, this is a nice transformation. Fuck. Man. Prime, dude. Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to like. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Come on, Prime, you're the last toy of this thing. J just stand up and do a nice pose before I will need to like feed you with a bunch of upgrade kits to be at least a bit more fun. Okay, Prime, let's just keep you like this. I really like this head sculpt. 
I like the chubby cheeks. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, he has ball jointed wrists. That's always nice for a toy for a sword fighter. Okay, Prime. The, the, this is Optimus Prime. He's really nice, and I need to end it because, as I said, I'm running out of space in my memory. <laughs> but this video is also going to be like half an hour long, so thank you, Mr. Star Wars, for everything. And I thank, want to thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe to my social media, and bye bye. See you later. Mwah.